breaking news this time on the peninsula in York County. That's where deputies arrested three York County high school students after sending threatening text messages to one another. Officials say last night they learned the students from Grafton High were exchanging texts about shooting, bombing, and burning the school today. This midday, 10 on your side's Aisha Tolliver has been digging deeper for more information. She joins us now with more details in Asia. What have you learned? Well, we're here outside of Grafton High School. So this is the school where three York County students attended that were arrested after sending those threatening text messages. York County Sheriff's Office officials say deputies received the information just after 10 last night that those students were texting. Like you guys mentioned, shooting, bombing and burning the school. And the plan was for today. We just learned those students were all teenage boys. Two were 14, one was 15 years old. One of the students' parents alerted the York Precocian Sheriff's Office about the messages. After searching through the night to find the students, they were all taken into custody and transported to the Merrimack Detention Center, where they are awaiting a detention hearing. Deputies say they have been charged with conspiracy, conspiracy rather, threats to bomb and burn, and threats of death on school property. In addition to criminal charges, the students will face disciplinary action within the school. We just spoke to Major Ron Montgomery with the York Pocotian Sheriff's Office. I asked him, you know, have detectives found any physical evidence to suggest they were going to go through with what was in those texts? We have not found any firearms, no. We have seized uh, cell phones that we are going to be analyzing to determine if there's any more information on those phones that would lead to additional charges or additional investigation. But at this point, we have found no firearms. Major Montgomery says this is a really important lesson for parents to pay attention to what your children are doing on social media and as well as to pay attention to what they're texting and what they're doing on their cell phones as well. But stay with us. As he mentioned, this investigation is far from over. We'll have more details coming up on Wavy News 10 at 4. In York County, I'm Aisha Tolliver, 10 on your side.